Thanks for coming by Weekly Photo Tips on YouTube. Today I want to give you uh, some real quick tips regarding do-it-yourself or DIY snoots and grids. Um, these are things that I made myself and if you go to weeklyphototips.com and do a search on DIY or snoot or grid, uh, you'll pull up some of the things we've talked about in the past. Uh, but I just want to show you what I used, tell you where I got it, and a couple of things I learned from making my own, so hopefully you will not make the same mistakes. Uh, first off, the things that you're going to need, um, black duct tape. You can get this at Walmart for $3.95, or if you have a surplus store like we have here in Maine called Martin's or Massachusetts Building 19 and a half, you can get it for under a dollar. Uh, you'll need some double-sided, uh, double-stick tape. You'll need some Coraplast, and it's, uh, another name for it is corrugated plastic. It looks like cardboard, but it's made out of plastic. You get it in different colors. Uh, you can get it at a craft store. You can get it online. Another great place to get it is at a sign shop. They use this stuff all the time. Um, so it's about five dollars a sheet you can get it cheaper online but if you do buy it online you have to add the shipping to it so maybe if a few people go in and you you know have a little craft day put these all together yourselves uh it makes the shipping worth it the other thing you'll need is the foam sheet it's foam feels like foam again get this at walmart for about 95 cents um one of the things you can do with this foam as well is just make a real quick little snoot bingo there you have it it's done um, if you move around shoot a lot it folds up pretty much flat so it's a great idea for that regarding uh, the grids I'll tell you one thing I did right at the top of the bat that I, I would do differently my grids are actually about a, a inch wide in here and I probably would have brought it down to a third of an inch or a half an inch uh, would use less material and uh, I think give me a better grid. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out to you as well, um, putting these pieces together, if you simply tried to stack them and make them straight, chances are they're not going to be as straight as you'd like them to be. So what I did, and it worked out really well, get yourself a, a box, something rigid that you can set on the table so you get a real good right angle and you just Set your pieces there, bring your next one in, drop it in place, slide it up, and just keep on building until you've got all your pieces together, and you'll end up with something really square, uh, and it'll work quite well. Let's see what else I want to tell you. Double stick tape. I used this instead of glue uh, because I could use less of it. It was quicker, uh, not nearly as messy, and the double stick tape takes up a lot less room in between the layers. If you use glue, it hardens, expands a little bit. You've got this line in between that light can escape. Um, these probably cost me, I have, I shoot, I have SB24s and 800s, and uh, probably cost me about a dollar and a quarter to make. Uh, and of course I made a bunch so that if they break, wear out, whatever. But uh, so anyways, when you get done putting these together, I simply wrapped it in the foam. I had a hot glue gun and just put a couple of dabs just to hold the foam in place for me. Once I wrapped it in the foam, uh, I then wrapped it in the duct tape to give it a little bit more durability and it was done. So there you have it. Uh, with this video, I'll repost some of the links for the do-it-yourself grids and snoots so that you can uh, look them up. And I'll also put links to online resources for Coreplast and things like that. All right, and I think that's about all the tips that I have for these little things. Um, and it wraps up this segment. So Walmart, supply stores, craft stores, sign shops, online, there's a ton of places you can get the things that you need. Um, and it can save you a lot of money. I use some store-bought things that were very nice, but they're also $20, $25. Like I said, these are about a dollar. If I lose it, I don't feel nearly as bad, and I've got a bunch on the shelf to replace it. So that will take care for this week on Weekly Photo Tips on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Thanks, and have a great day.